Hi everybody, so it's Friday! So I thought I would do a Friday favorites video and based on my brushes this time because I love my brushes and I've been requested to do this video tons of times so I'm eventually getting around to it. So my brushes are by Blank Canvas Cosmetics and I use these brushes about 99% of the time in my videos. I love these, these are amazing. These are actually um, an Irish based company and they actually ship worldwide and the shipping is very reasonable. So. Yay! I have everything for the face, the eyes, and the lips, so it's like a full, complete collection of brushes in here. So we're going to start off with the first one, and this is 001, which is a pretty good place to start with the first one. And this is the powder brush. The great thing about this, because of the shape of it, which is kind of sprayed outwards, but it's still slightly rounder on top, you can really spread the powder over your face. You're not going to have that cakey look, you're not going to have too much powder in your face. It keeps its shape, you do have to take care of it, make sure that you wash it properly to it and just keep it nice and smooth and nice and soft. Moving on to number two. Now this is actually kind of two brushes in one because it's double ended. You have the foundation brush, which is a nice kind of wide foundation brush, but it's not flimsy. It still has a bit of density to it. I love this for applying my foundation. I think it's fantastic. And then the other end, you have a little concealer brush. The great thing about this set is it actually comes with two concealer brushes, which I think is a really good idea because what you don't want to do is to kind of mix your concealer brushes. But this is a nice and handy little brush. And on the website, you can actually get a travel size one, which is just a foundation brush. and It's a little bit smaller. Next up we have 003 and this is one of my favourite brushes, it's a very versatile type of brush. You can use this for applying a mineral powdered foundation, you can apply your liquid foundation with it, you can apply it for buffing over the top of your foundation to make sure that you have kind of an airbrush finish. You can squash it down like this and you can apply it on the top of the cheeks if you're using a little bit of highlighter. You can apply a bronzer and kind of buff the bronzer over your face. It has so many different uses and actually one of my favourite ways to use it is if you have dry skin and you don't want to set with a powder and using the powder brush you can actually use this by spraying some setting spray on the top of it dab it over the face your makeup is set it's going to stay there all day and even if you have any flaky patches you can spray a little bit of your setting spray on top dab it over it and it's just going to bring it right down and keep it nice and flat and looking perfect for the entire day. So the 003 is definitely one of my favorites. Now we're going to move on to 004. So this is the blush brush. This is actually the angular one. If you had one of the earlier sets, the um, shape was slightly different, but this is kind of the updated version of this. Slightly angular shape. It's still nice and dense, but super soft as well. I love this brush. It's so smooth. Now we're moving on to the last of the face brushes. And this actually doesn't have to just be the face. This can actually be used on the eyelids as well. And this is the concealer brush. Now I said there is two concealer brushes in this you have the, the one with the double ended and you also have this separate one which this is nice and big so you can use it for applying a concealer in a large area you can apply it for just blemishes you can apply it around the mouth area if you want to sharpen up the edge if you've applied like a lipstick it has a nice kind of solid shape at the top it's not too flimsy it definitely has some kind of um, support and stability to it so you are going to have plenty of control over it so that's it for the face brushes now we're going to move on to the eye brushes I know a lot of you love your eye brushes so here's a good variety of ones in here. Move down to 006. Works best around the eyes for getting rid of any harsh lines and blending out a smoky eye. It's wider and bigger than the most brushes that you'll probably see for blending eyeshadows but I think it's kind of handy to have. The next eye brush that we have is the flat shader brush. The great thing about this brush is that it can be used with cream products but it can also be used for powdered products because of the type of texture that it is. If I'm using like a creamy um, eyeshadow base, I will apply this first of all using this brush because it doesn't absorb too much of the product unlike a kind of um, a fluffier type of brush that would absorb a lot of it. This has that kind of texture that you can get away with using it with cream products as well. The next brush that we have is um, kind of an angular crease brush because it's nice and fluffy you can use it in the crease and I'll show you the easiest way to use this brush and this is the 008. What you will do is you will place the angle with the smallest part on the outer portion of the eye and the highest part going upwards and then you blend it across the top of the lid so it's going right over the top of the lid so you have this kind of line going along here and this is actually what I did with my makeup this morning I just placed a little bit of like a contour kind of brown fleshy tones down there I worked it back and forth it's kind of um, smooth and soft and kind of fluffy enough that it blends the eyeshadow as you apply it. This is a nice handy brush. I think it's a cute little addition to the entire brush set and I actually find myself reaching for this a lot of the time, especially with my eye shape. 
The next brush, which is right in the middle here, is not just an eye brush, it can actually be used on the lips. Now, I use it most of the time on my lips, I don't really find myself using it that much for the eyes. You can apply your liquid liner with this. The only thing is, it's quite a kind of um, a wide um, line that you would get out of it. So, I actually apply my lip liner with this, and I blend in my lipstick with this. It's really handy like that. Like, it's nice and small, but it's not too small, so you can definitely get right around the lip line with this. So this is my kind of favorite go-to lip brush. I don't really have any other lip brush except for this. I use this all the time. So we're back to the eye brushes and this is the Zero 10. The great thing about this brush is it's perfect for really cutting the crease with this. Like you can seriously do some work with this brush. It's very small, it's great for blending, it's sort of like the miniature, super miniature version of a blending brush. You can really cut the crease with this and get it right in there. You can also just do a light dusting all over the lid. You can apply a little bit of highlighter just to the inner portion of the eye. You can blend a colour right underneath the lashes if you're doing like a smoky eye and you want to make sure that it's well blended underneath the eyes. And you could also do it on top. You can use it for applying underneath your brows. This is one of my favorite brushes. I do love this brush. I love how tiny it is, but I love how kind of like soft and fluffy it is so you can really blend with it. So definitely one of my favorites. The next brush can be used on the eyes, but it can actually be used on the brows as well. It is an angled flat brush, and this is the 011 or the 011 brush. I actually find myself using this mostly for working eyeshadows underneath the eyes because of the angle of it, or working a shadow and kind of dabbing it over the top of your liquid liner to set it so that works pretty well with this but you can also use this on the brows as well if you're kind of working it into the brows and creating more of a shape with the brows too. Now we're moving on to the final brush and this is the super skinny eyeliner like liquid liner brush. It's super small tiny little thing and this is 012 or 012. So these are all my brushes. If you would like to see how to wash these brushes and how I take care of them, then you can check the little video that's going to come up here. I also might be teaching a class or two using these brushes, so if you live in Cork or Curry, then make sure you keep an eye on the Blank Canvas Cosmetics Facebook page for updates about the upcoming makeup sessions that they might be having, and I might be included in one of them too. So I hope that's going to be either in Cork or Curry, but I will definitely update you guys more on that. But keep an eye on the Facebook page to see more about it, and I will talk to you soon. I'm Sinead Katie, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.